last week on the Vegetable Police Doesn't Know What the Hell He's Doing show. I incorporated at way too many fermented foods. I melted my teeth. They started turning like brown. I don't know. They're too acidic. Kombucha? Stay away. I'm trying to repair that now. Who could love me? Like this tooth is effed. That one too? Maybe that one? Like get weird shit. My digestion was so good with the fermented foods. If I could have just swallowed it all like a duck not chew anything, just drink my meals through a straw, it might have worked. So I'm just showing you what I'm trying to do to repair the tooth damage, but still maintain excellent health. Great digestion, perfect skin, energy out the yin yang. Let's go. Let me fly towards my hands. Towards my hands. So I figure we make lunch and talk about some things I've been incorporating lately. Working pretty well. Where's my lamb fat? I'm gonna scramble eggs in lamb fat. Vegetarian confirmed. So I like to put the pan on really low, like two, just above minimum. Get that heated. And then you got sunny side up eggs. I'm gonna make a little salad to go with this with some fermented foods, but just avoiding the kombucha forever replacing that with my own water kefir which is so much more mild so already today so far I woke up I had about a liter of freshly cultivated nettle tea I picked them myself I wore gloves they're stinging nettles they hurt so I wore gloves I went out in nature and I brought some scissors and I just cut a bunch of branches and then I came home with like all this green stuff I'm gonna attempt to eat it I think you can eat it. Let's just find out. Nettles are edible confirmed? You could. I don't know why you would. If I could describe that flavor, it's like spinach meets I'm way tougher than you weak ass spinach. I'm tough and stingy. So what I'm focusing on, mineral dense, low sugar, still incorporating fermented foods, heal everything. So big salad, red leaf lettuce goes in there. We're using store-bought sauerkraut because mine isn't ready yet, but it's coming along. You know where I think I've been going wrong with the sauerkraut? Sometimes it just, it doesn't work and it gets really weird. I always add a probiotic pill to it. I think that's my problem. I'm gonna stop doing that. We got raw pickles. Don't mind if I do. These are so salty. You would never want more than half a pickle. I, don't, I guess you have to add so much salt for them to ferment and not die. Sliced pickles in your salad. I did buy a low carb bread <laughs> just for experiments. I was so used to eating bread, putting like cream cheese on it. Vegan cream cheese, of course. Oh my God, my eggs. You get your lamb fat all jiggied up in there. You're good. No burning eggs. Two eggs. Boom, those look bloody. Now you just ease them on into that pan. They hang out there. I put the lid on. You can barely hear it sizzle. And that's what you want. That's how you don't burn an egg on a stainless steel frying pan. All right, now we pop a couple slices of toast. If you're curious what the ingredients are, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna have four slices of that bread. These are olives, organic really good silver leaf i love that company so we are going more i wouldn't say it's quite keto but it's definitely high fat low sugar no fruit yet i will i'm open to berries in my life one day and we're just trying to repair the teeth and get nice skin i was watching some videos of dr dre i think that's vegan teacher or something and she has like perfect skin. She's a dermatologist. I'd love to like collab with her. You fix my skin and then yay, you're a hero. So somebody tell her 
down below in her video segment. Hey, Vegetable Police is desperate. He sucks at life. He wants nice skin. You tell me what to do. I'm just, I'm afraid. She uses a lot of chemicals, but it seems like you have to do that unless you're fruitarian. When I see people with nice skin, it's either they do nothing, like just water, or like they're all chemicals all the time. Salicylic acid, then a moisturizer, you're toning, you're sunscreening, like it's just warfare and it looks nice. And I, I haven't been able to find the balance. I think it's digestion mostly though. What's happening with these eggs? I didn't realize how low I was getting on this stuff. This is cashew cream cheese that I made myself. I'm just playing with the recipe still. It's just cashews soaked overnight and blended like Lou Corona style nut yogurts. And then I just added a bunch of stuff. Umabushi plum paste and sea salt and onion powder, garlic powder and apple cider vinegar. I still, I'm still playing around with the ratios. It tastes really good, but I think I could do better because it's not as good as the store-bought ones. I'm missing something, clearly. My toast is burning. Thankfully, low-carb bread can never burn because it's mostly waste products. That's good times, it's not even real food. So this is ghee, source of vitamin K2, anyone? All the fat-soluble vitamins that people seem to say repair the teeth. So we're lathering that up, just going for it, all fat all the time. This is a pretty sad looking salad. I don't know what that was supposed to do. I was using this dressing that I bought, like raw vegan thing, oil, vinegar, sugar. And I'm out of it, so I should try to make my own dressing. All you need is vinegar and oil. That's good enough, but I'm hoping the creamy cashew cream cheese and the fermented foods are enough to brighten our lives. All right, we're cleaning as we go here. So now we're spreading some cream cheese on the toast. Lots, I have no idea how many calories this is, but it seems to sustain me for a good while. It's kind of nice. I mean, I'm used to having fruit juice all day. I go for these walks in the forest to get like wildlife footage and I'm peeing like four times on the one like two hour hike and it's like what am I doing with my life now that I'm on this type of plan it's like I go out I don't pee once it's fantastic really nice is that like your goal in life to not pee ever again it's mine so these eggs should be decent not sticking boom and I just put one of those on each slice of bread this is healthy now this is healthy now. Fried eggs and lamb fat. That's just good times for you. I'm not adding the fat drippings from the egg fried into my salad. I would never do that. You don't know me at all. You're just guessing right now. Then we just rinse, lather, and repeat on the second and third, I mean third and fourth slices of toast. More ghee, more cream cheese, although we don't have more eggs. I'm not a glutton. Just two eggs, that's enough. No, just relax. Now, other than the unnecessary lamb fat to fry the eggs, that was just a leftover thing from my stock. No animals had to die for this. Huh? This is vegetarian. Eggs could be ethical in some cultures if done right. And dairy can also be. It's in the Bible. Even that brainwashing book, the Essene Gospel of Peace, it was written by not Jesus at all. They were like all up in the milk. So don't even pretend that milk isn't good for you, except it would make me bleed internally. But that doesn't mean it's bad. All right, we're almost finished here. Just a little bit of water kefir, probably like less than a cup. I'm just trying to stretch it out. I need to buy another packet so I can have more going. I need two of these liters going at all times. So I just made some others, just a quarter cup of sugar, a little bit of molasses and the kefir grains. And then it takes about three days for it to eat all the sugar. Do I want a bunch of sugar eating bacteria on a low carb diet? Not sure that I do, but it could be helpful. You don't know that it isn't. This is umaboshi plum paste, because I'm a salt addict now. So we just mix that on in there with that. 
And that is a balanced meal, my friends. We have reached it. We have reached it, a balanced vegetarian meal. This morning I just had the nettle tea and then a green juice, celery, lemon, parsley, ginger. And now I eat this, go about my day, long nature walk maybe tonight, today. And then dinner tonight is lamb again. So that whole rant about me not killing anything, that was a falsehood killing a lot of things tonight. So dinner's gonna be pressure cooked lamb shanks and some steamed veggies and more fats, a little bit of this, more fermented foods, similar to this, only it's cooked veggies and no bread. Coconut kefir, I just like to shake and bake. This I'll just take a couple swigs of. Cheers to you. Ow, my teeth. So there you have a nice balanced lunch, water kefir drink. You got some strange toast with the egg thing. Yolks somewhat runny, not quite. And then a salad. Nice salad with no dressing. Ah, that is nice. So I'm gonna go eat that. I'm still debating seeing a naturopath, see what his ideas are to heal the digestion and skin. So we'll see. I'm just trying to, can I do it on my own? Probably not. This couldn't head nowhere good. So there it is. That's what we're doing. It's worth a thumb up. I like the thumbs. If you thumb down this video, you know it's because last week you made a salad, but it contained sugar alcohols those aren't healthy my friend they can poison your liver it tastes sweet your body expects sugar oh no there was none what do we do with all this insulin i don't know let's age him faster with it you're dumb diet soda anybody who's ever drunk a diet soda in their life needs to just look in the mirror and look at your bald ass head I didn't cut the hair. I feel so vulnerable. I shaved and this, I feel like a lemming, a troll. I don't belong outside. I should never enter society again. I'm gonna go. It'll grow back one day.